there's always a voice in the room that has some data or insight that you missed. And if you are open to listening to them, you're gonna get a new perspective. There are many different paths that we've taken to be a contributor to open source. And we wanted to really broadly get all those stories so we could really understand all the great contributions that women are making. We now have created an opportunity for women to be inspired to participate in open source in the future, to join into the technical communities and to participate in open source. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. It's my honor to congratulate this year's Women in Open Source Award winners. Community Award winner, Megan Bertsonicki, and academic winner, Mita Hussain. Both are incredible examples of how women support the advancement of open source, both through their amazing contributions and also through their advocacy for inclusion. My name is Neda Hussain. My open source contributions include writing articles to Wikipedia, uploading free images to Wikimedia Commons, and adding structured data to Wikidata. Winning the Red Hat Women in Open Source Award means a lot to me. I will be very happy if people, most importantly women, start contributing to Wikipedia after hearing of my story. I'm Megan Bird Sanke. I'm currently involved in open source projects such as COVID Act Now, FOSS Responders, Sustain OSS, and I'm on the board of the Open Source Initiative. Winning this award means a lot to me. It means my contributions are seen and valued. And I'm so grateful for that. Thank you. I think open source has been very early in finding a new approach that's not command and control, it's collaborative. But because of the approach to open source, we have not only revolutionized how Software is me, but I think we're a role model for how other systems can model after us.